What a friggin' mess. questions about the golf cart i still have the third golf cart sitting here and we are going to get this thing going soon wait for summertime so you can get some stuff out of here because it was all stored for the winter so it's all decked over what i want to do today is i want to how you doing i want to pull out the old john deere there that was probably sean eh sean driving the old choo choo train i want to pull out the old lt160 here and slap a hitch on her i got some new welding cable because i ran out so we got some of that we got to put in that and drag that thing back up front i got a little junk collection going over here it's too hard to move by hand so i'm gonna have to freaking get a hitch on the old trailer or on the old deer i also need a battery in the old deer too why wouldn't i but one thing nice about having an off-grid system is when you have a bad battery you always have 12 volts if you because my off-grid system always makes 12 volts. So at least every time I can boost it. But we are going to change the battery because there's nothing worse than boosting a goddamn thing. Especially if it runs out of fuel. That really sucks. So we need choke. Safety. <laughs> good so let's get this thing out of here and pull the John Deere and hopefully it doesn't friggin rain today there we go so we got her in the garage now we can take this off and get ready to weld a hitch on her so how this thing comes off is I've never had it off so I don't really know Looks like it's bolted on. It can't be. Is it? No. It might be. No, it can't be. Frick. How's that come off? Come oh, on, dick. Come on, this thing can't be bolted on. Oh, I see a pin. Got some pin action going on. Hopefully this doesn't take too long to design because I don't want to spend a lot of time on making a weld a ball on the riding lawnmower. I'm trying to make a career out of this job. That looks like it comes off pretty easy. Look at that, that's nice. That's why she's a John Deere, because things are nice. Okay, so we got the welder up here, and I got a bigger roll this time, so it lasts a little longer. We got ourselves a uh, power weld, which is the same one I got. It was $29 for that little piece, and this was $59 for that, so why wouldn't I? Now, the only other thing is, I'm gonna have to snafu that thing onto there. And I hope there's no other pieces that I need that I'm missing, because it's been a while since I put a big one on. We should be okay, Jim. So let's get that off. What is that back? Careful. There we go, get that off. Take off this doodad. And there's the old roll. So now, what we need to do, how come that washer's melted to the roll? That doesn't say very much for anything right now. Holy, how you doing? Obviously, I got too tight it did. So we gotta put this on, like so. And there should be a big nut. Uh-oh. Don't tell me I'm missing the nut. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Woo! Thank God we weren't missing that bad boy. Just gonna make sure this is on right. Go that way. No, it definitely goes that way. So this goes in the wire first, and the wire feeds that way. So this goes in here, right? 
that goes down there. So that's good. Then this goes on here. So that's good. And then this goes on here. Holy. I like the way the big one goes in better, don't you? I have no idea what I'm doing right now, Jim. Does it go this way or the other way? Is it backwards or a forward thread? Oh, you know what? She's a backwards thread. And then you still gotta put the spring and the bolt back on. And the washer. Washer. Crank that in. Don't need too much. You want her to roll nice. How's that feel? Not bad. Why is that so shitty feeling? That should be okay. So now once we're done that, get down here. Now once we're done that, we gotta unhook over here and feed her through the doodad. So we'll loosen this off, flip her back, lift her up, clean her off. Holy, look at all the shit in there. No goody. Where's the air blower? Let's blow that out. Squeeze it, careful, we'll blow this back through. Take this off, which is really tight. Oh, you gotta pull it, sorry about that. Tip off, we'll just gun it. Ooh, look at it. Oh yeah, we did. All right, now that's blowing out. Take yourselves out a pair of needle nose here. Make sure when you're doing this, you don't let go of the wire or it'll unspool and just wreck your day completely. So cut that off so we get a nice little tip. We'll wind her back a little bit, a little bit more. We'll shove her in the hole. Oh, I'm nervous. I always hate doing this because I normally cock it right over. Because you gotta get her just in there, just nicely, eh? So you don't spin your ding dong. Oh, dick. Where's my knee wings? What do I do with them? Here they are. Can you see? Probably not, I can't. Hooked on my sweater and everything else. How come it's not feeding where I want it to feed to? What's really going on? What the hell is really going on? Jim, let's get that out of there for now. So you can get the wire in the hole. Come on, baby. Get in there. Go home, go to your home. Yeah. Oh, there must be an easier way. Oh, there it is. We got her. Okay, so now we start feeding her in. Oh, maybe we didn't get her. What the F? I totally missed the hole. How is that even possible? My eyes are perfect, did I tell you that? You mentioned how good my eyes were? Probably not. They're really good, because I cannot get this started for the life of me right now. Oh, we got her, okay, there it is. So now that I got that started in there, we can put this down, put that up, slide this in, tighten it up, tighten this up, and I should be good to feed it to the doodad. So let's try that. Let's feed it to you. Are you ready? Do the brake torque. Oh, something's happening. Oh, something was happening. Do the brake torque. Here it goes. Oh, you know what? I have a feeling like I turn my ball around. Smaller wire down. I put a 0.30 instead of 0.035. Here it comes, I can feel it. There it is. Oh yeah. So let's double check this now that we got that done. And we'll double check the ball to see. So yes, we gotta turn it around. Oh yeah, that feels better. Okay, try it. Yep, that's it, you got it. So that's all there is to reloading your doodad. But I also am gonna put a ah, new tip in. New wire calls for new tippage. Leave your comments down below if you feel the same. So we'll cut this back off. We'll slide it through the hole, screw it in. And we'll put our shield back on. And it is ready to weld and I'm gonna be using that whole roll on that golf cart back there as you know. So there we go, let's get to the deer. All right, I'm back. Now I did already pre-drill a hole there the other night for this, but I haven't finished it. So we got a hole for the, the ball to go in. And I'm gonna chop that off there, give her a little chop here, maybe a chop here, and that will give me my dingle the dingles. Angles of the dangles. What nots and the ding bobs, if you know what I'm saying. I hope so, because I don't. But let's try it. So we'll cut off out here. When you're doing this, always wear a face shield. You know what I should be doing. Bring it closer to the vise so it doesn't bounce so much. Let's do that. Whoa, let's do that first. Holy fuck, that's a heavy piece of steel right there. Captain. Woohoo, hoo hey, woo. There we go. There's one. Now we just gotta do the other one. And how we're gonna do that is a magnet, and we're gonna hold her here, and we're gonna give her the same cockage of the walkage, if you know what I'm saying. So we're going to go right about like that. So let's do that. Why wouldn't we? Haven't I? Good. There we go. 
So now that we're done that, we can cut her straight through. Probably should uh, change the blade now. Oh, yeah, it's tight. There we go, carry on. Decent. So now that we're done that, we're just gonna go into the belt sander here and smooth her down a little. As soon as we get some power into her. What cord do we got here? That's really cool. We want this cord and that cord. And this one can come off and this can maybe go on. And we'll throw this one on too so we can see. And that's still the wrong one. So it must be this one, which is down here. Over here, through here. And then we'll pull this one off. Stick this one on and... What happened? Boys. That's just ridiculous. Let's hit it with a regular grinder. Ah, uh, that helps my 90 degree. Vroom, hey, vroom. Vroom, where are ya? Vroom. Vroom. Frag. Here it is. Vroom, see, told ya. Yeah, I just can't do it, boys. I have to I have to cut that so it's the same angle. It's gonna drive me fucking crazy if I don't. I did have a white chalk out here and I lost it that fast for real. Sure fucking did. Oh I actually put it back. Oh yeah. So I wanna keep keep the white. There we go. That will make me feel so much better. Probably just cocked over my good sweater. Why wouldn't I? Oh yeah, it looks a lot better. See that, boys? Now at least she's friggin' doink, hey? Doink. Fuck yeah. What happened? All right, there we go, so that's done. Okay, so now that easy task is done of making this piece. We're just gonna vice grip it to the old one and we're gonna put a tacky tack here, a tacky tack around here. And then, uh, yeah, I know we should reinforce this, but I'm not gonna pull anything real heavy with it. And my thing slides in here, so it's gonna be hard to reinforce, but let's just get a tack on here and see what's what. It's not gonna hold much weight. We're not gonna put a tra my big trailer or anything on it, so it should be fine. So let's get that on there. Let's get the welder fired up, and let's see if we can slap her on. Give her a, a bzzz, how you doing? A little, a little, how you doing, eh? Let's give her a four and about a 32.56. Now whenever you're welding this, make sure you're real close to the gas tank because you know, you want to make sure you blow yourself up. It's always a good thing to do. Idiot. Here, let's put this welding jacket to use in the non-special way. That's not working either. Let's put a glove here. That works too. Can you just throw a glove up there? There we go. You know, use my hand as a backer. Should be fine. Put the trailer in the That'll work. Come on, Peter. Nice. Captain. Now we're gonna carry on to the sides. Maybe nice to see what he's doing. Gotta remember the biggest thing about welding is to be able to see what you're welding. And I can't, so I'm doing real good. There we go. I think that's all we're gonna need. Jim. Oh frig yeah. That's mint, boys. Boys, girls, peoples. Oh yeah, that's all we need. Listen, this wood's burning. I think you can smell it. Oh yeah. Well, we did it. That's all we're gonna need to pull a little trailer around the yard. That's for sure. Where's my balls? Here it is. 
Look at this. There you go. Holy solid. Friggin' right. Now, if you ever want to go solid or you can make brackets and stuff, but like I said, I have my bagger, so I can't do that on my situation. I've always been a big kind of, you know, kind of like doing this shit I do. And it, you know what? You're not going to believe this, but wait until I've done this, for God's sake. Friggin' awesome. He's a little hot right now. Hopefully this paint matches, we're gonna see. Let's try a little bit right there. It says it's heavy duty farm shit. John Deere, green, pretty close. Okay, check it out. Let's try it. Oh, dick. Don't ever tell you, I don't care. Cause I care, look at that. Boys, she looks like a deer, she does. Yeah. It's raining on my truck out there. It's not good. But I'll tell you what, that's fucking good. Right there. Well anyways, there you go. There's how you extend your hitch and put an actual real ball on your John Deere tractor. Like I said, this is made for carrying light stuff around the yard, not for something heavy. If you need heavy, you're gonna have to reinforce it, but that's all I need. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and like and hit that notification. Try to get me over 100 thumbs up on this video. I appreciate that, like I always do. But that's all for now. We'll see you on the next one.